a little bit before Christmas, it happened again. And I was like on the ice, they would just call me like an African animal or that as well, the N-word. It's supposed to be a game for all Canadians, but a series of racist taunts on the ice have shocked a 14-year-old youth hockey player. David Godwin plays at the Bantam B B level in Gatineau, Quebec, but he says he never expected race to factor into how other players see him. It was a weird feeling. I felt like if I shouldn't be there, like if I should change or shouldn't be able to play. Godwin says he had never been called a racial slur before on or off the ice. That was until November when the 14-year-old says it started happening while playing against a team from a neighboring league, including once during post-game handshakes. Some of Godwin's teammates heard the comments and backed him up when reporting what happened. I got an email saying that it's unacceptable, something will be done, they are going to to, to to do something, and but nothing never gets done. Like, it's big words, no action. The last time it happened at a game in March, Godwin checked the player who taunted him from behind, sending him into the boards. The player was injured, and Godwin was suspended. I just, when I heard it again, I was just, I couldn't anymore, so I just reacted without thinking and injured the guy. Godwin's mom couldn't understand why her son reacted that way until she talked to him. I went to see him and his lips were shaking, his eyes were watering, and that's when he said he called he told me to skate faster. You and then and word and then it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because he looked like the bad one and that day people were cursing him out for something that he was complaining before. Desaliers and Godwin didn't protest the suspension but wanted to know what would happen about the racist taunting. And I was told that it's it, nothing can be done because a ref have to hear it. The kids are not stupid. They will not say that beside a ref. If we can't listen to a kid's word, it's not like he's been complaining every every season. It's the first time in how many years, always against the same team. Both junior hockey leagues involved say they've interviewed both teams over what happened, but it's not clear what comes next. We reached out to Hockey Aylmer's president to ask about the incident and fighting racism in junior hockey, but haven't heard back. As for Godwin? I actually just maybe want to push more, even more just to show them that, like, I can, I can be a good hockey player even though I'm black to their, you know, I'm different to their eyes. And I just hope that the next generation and next players that are going to go through stuff like this, or I just hope that they won't have to go through all of this because nobody should have to feel ashamed for their skin color or whoever they are. In Ottawa, Shaoli Lee, City News. Go get your gloves.